Hi Karen, Daphne here. I hope you're well. I hope the corrections were helpful for you, the first ones that you had back from me and that you're enjoying the course so much. Um, well done, keeping going with your writing, it's great. So in many countries, traditional foods are being replaced by fast food. This has a negative impact on families, individual and society. To what extent do you agree or disagree? So okay, opinion essay here. Uh, eating habits of customer substitute conventional food with frozen food is a contentious issue causing many problems. Now just a few little things in this first line, okay. The, because you're talking very specifically here, the eating habits of customers, mm, it's not really customers, it's more like consumers. Make sure you're happy with the difference here. Consumers are general people who buy or eat or whatever. A customer is more like in a shop or a service. So the eating habit of consumers, and you need to have a relative clause here because it's not every consumer, it's these particular ones who substitute conventional food with frozen or processed, even it can be McDonald's, Food is a contentious issue causing many problems. Okay, good. So make sure this first sentence is super strong and super correct. The examiner will decide very quickly what band score they think you are. And if they decide you're a 6.5, it's very hard to push them that you're a 7. Okay, so your first sentence has to be amazing. The eating habits of consumers who substitute commercial food with frozen or processed food is a contentious issue. That's lovely. Causing many problems. Well done. Personally, I strongly agree that processed food has no nutritional value to food. Uh, we need more than this and can upset the balance of families' uh, communication or family strength or families' families' uh, families' bonds. I think the point is not just the food is bad, but that the, this impact of fam on family, that people don't eat together anymore. They just have their own takeaways. Um, so it's a bit more than just the food is bad. So we need to make sure we're talking about every part of the question here. Uh, this essay will analyze it. Lovely. Well done. Good. On one hand, there's ample evidence that frozen food consumption, they are okay. Consumption, yeah, from that one and that one results in uh, so results in not into obesity good a lack of because of okay uh, due to a lack of nutritional values and several health issues uh, twofold firstly people are overweight due to uh, okay um, in that case be go a lack of uh, now it's not everybody but many People are overweight due to consumption of canned food, which is hard to digest and result and often, so not always, results in obesity. So these little words are really, really important in controlling the essay and getting the idea across of what you're doing. Secondly, nutritional values, no capital, such as vitamins uh, are provided by conventional foods, but eating oranges, yeah, no longer observed, no longer, um, no longer observed, no longer um, obtained. Oh, sorry, obtained. Put that in instead. <laughs> Didn't mean to delete, sorry. In can of food. Um, now, you're talking about nutrition. This question isn't just asking you about nutrition. It's asking about the, about this, okay? Um, in contrast, so let's just put in this to kind of rescue it, if you like, in contrast. Uh, traditionally prepared foods uh, offer uh, better uh, nutrition, nutritional value or health value and the benefit of being um, eaten and or prepared eaten together or as a group or as a family or something like that you see what I mean but what I need to do is just get this absolutely make sure you're answering the question because this is so often where people go wrong they kind of start off answering a question and it's slightly the wrong question so you can't score highly on task achievement because of that okay 
For instance, an extensive study indicated that 60% of cancer among the public is due to consumption of special salt, which is excessively used in fast food. Therefore, okay, so what you could do is, you, this sentence is fantastic, but you don't have to have this sentence. If you're short of space, I would rather you develop this, for example, with this line, than had that. So this is more important, the body of that paragraph, than that line. So although there's a case for consuming conventional food, and even such food enriching hygienic, uh, not hygienic, you would have to say health. Uh, so health and the family unit. Okay, connecting this idea about family, society, eating together, and the negative impact of conventional food cannot be overstated. Okay, this is because uh, the not the parents, but many parents are working full time to accommodate their children's good education and standard of living. Uh, well done. Either living standards or standard of living. So let's put living standards in here. Living standards due to which they are no contractions formal writing unable to cook food that needs a long time good to cook um time consuming kind of consuming and complicated food okay so move that into a lovely adjective absolutely love adjectives don't underestimate the power that they bring to the writing how you would score for developing the uh, tasks task achievement and also on vocabulary here so getting this into an adjective rather than that you can see how that's better for instance recent research showed that 65 percent of workers who cook fresh food daily at uh, came daily comma arrived past tense arrived late to their offices really thus it's possible to state beyond doubt that sometimes fast food could be a better option could be the, uh, let's go the better option specific the better option <coughs> be more uh, now careful because your, your conclusion is suddenly changing direction at the moment you're saying um, at the moment you're saying okay fast food is bad <clears throat> but here you're saying watch out because you also say telling me the problem with the uh, uh, home food. So you're saying fast food is bad. Then you're saying home food is quite is not great either. Um, and you're suddenly changing in the in the conclusion into a different idea. So if conventional food, oh careful, um, that conclude. Okay, I firmly believe that while there is a place for ready-made meals for busy families, because that concludes what you've said there, you have to kind of, you can't bring in new arguments, you have to go back to what you've already been saying. Um, if conventional foods uh, I like the conditional, but you've got to have the present simple there. If conventional foods, uh, in fact, uh, you've got to have the past simple. It's a second conditional. If conventional foods gain popularity among people, there would be more positive implications, and this should be encouraged. If you put that in there, that refers back to that paragraph where you're saying it's bad. Just be careful in that conclusion that you're not changing direction suddenly. Your conclusion should really sum up the ideas you've just been giving and not give, give the examiner new ideas to think about. But that's a really nice essay, Karen. You've got lots of good stuff in there. We're just kind of uh, tweaking it, if you know what I mean. We're just kind of pushing it a little bit to get it into the right direction, but you're doing great. Uh, so here we go. I have a letter to a friend. This is an informal letter uh, to Jasmine. Now, if you're writing to a friend, you would not end like that. Uh, you could have like best wishes or or best, sorry, best wishes, or see you soon, something like that. And not your whole name, just your uh, the name you call yourself, your Christian name, we call it your first name. Uh, with reference to, oh, hang on, whoa. <clears throat> so, 
Too formal. Yeah, this is a friend. Yeah, really read the question carefully. Okay, you're visiting a friend, so you have to show the examiner you understand this tone, the register of the letter. Dear Jasmine, I'm, you can contract here, so sorry that I let you down and couldn't meet you last week as planned. Something like that. So immediately you're getting onto the right level like you'd write to a friend. Okay. I so oh sorry, I've used plan, but you could have to say I'd hoped you could go into a past perfect here. I'd hoped. I'm oh, sorry. <clears throat> um, yeah, I'd hoped to meet you after the office scheduled and you have to celebrate the reunion. But unfortunately couldn't. Unfortunately, so take out that due to time constraints. Uh, we had to get the last flight home. Yeah. So again, I apologise. Too formal. Um. So you could go something like, "I was really upset as I was so looking forward to seeing seeing you." As da da da. Okay. Can you see immediately how this is a much more casual? Uh, how you would talk to a friend? Yeah. As we discussed over the phone. Um. Yeah, the office meeting was supposed to end at four, but but it, so don't repeat the meeting, it took two hours extra due to a long discussion. The 11th hour, the senior project manager decided to visit the site. Inspection took longer, after which I decided to go home. Uh, okay, <clears throat> otherwise, otherwise I would have, very nice, I would have missed the flight. Okay. Uh, so that's fine. Great. Well done. Once again, so again, too formal. So you need to say that again in a more informal way. Next one, I've two days off seminar in your city. Okay, you can see. Um, so I assure, so you'd have to be present tense normally there anyway. I assure you that um, here. Hopefully. Yeah, and then I'll. So you should be contracting here. I'll have enough time to visit you or to meet up. Visit your home is a bit formal. I wouldn't say that ever. Uh, just meet up next time. Uh, I'll share the itinerary. Okay, too formal again. Let's make a plan. Yeah. Exclamation mark. Okay, so you can see that probably now I pointed that out. You're going, yeah, yeah, fine, absolutely. Okay, so just really check who are you writing to and then that will give you the register, the tone of the whole letter. Uh, otherwise, really good, well done, good start or good continuation. Thank you.